Hey Earth Signs and welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be doing um, singles and couple spreads for each zodiac. So there will be a total of six spreads done. I will try to um, do timestamps uh, so it's easier for you guys to get to the part of the reading that you um, are interested in. I'm going to start doing dailies live. I'm doing this because right now I just don't have the time to go by Zodiac and have them all uploaded and upload everything else I'm trying to do as well. So I figure this will be a way that I won't have to record it and then upload it and bog down my computer. So I'm just going to do um, lives for the dailies and we'll try that for a little bit and see if it works better. So if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that notification bell so you get alerted when I go live. Um, and I will be starting that either either tomorrow or um, I'd like to have it started by the end of the week at the latest. So, all right, I think those are good and shuffle. Let's get Taurus singles. All right, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Bottom of the deck, clarifying that is divine timing. Divine timing is at work in your love life and is worth the wait. So I am using the Morgan Greer deck for you guys. We'll be clarifying with the Witch's Tarot for a happy October. All right. What is Taurus Singles' current situation in love? Taurus Singles. All right. The Moon. So deep intuition, deep knowing, a deep passion for somebody in the recent past. You could also be keeping your feelings very secret um, from somebody. Not in a bad way, but just not telling them yet how you truly feel. In your recent past, you went through a death, uh, a major uh, cycle coming to a completion point in your life. And now you are here and ready and waiting for that that new relationship, that new opportunity and love to get started in the near future, Taurus. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer. You have the Eight of Cups. In your foundation, you have Justice. Crowning your reading is the Page of Cups. You do have the Magician um, right under that. So, Truly, you are at a new cycle. You are coming out of a very difficult time um, in a relationship, um, trying to decide whether or not to, to move forward or to hold on. Let's see why this moon is here for you, Taurus Singles. Um, the Ten of Pentacles. So the ending of a family cycle. You are moving away from this Ten of Pentacles, you are allowing, your your intuition is telling you it's time to go. You could have held on to this um, a little too long, but there's a new beginning right behind um, the action of walking away. Yeah, the Two of Wands. In the recent past, you have been at a crossroads, not knowing what to do, not knowing what you want, um, trying to resist change um, in your life, but this... this uh, Change is coming anyway. So you're now um, making future plans. You're coming out of this uh, darkness, out of this sadness. And you're allowing um, whatever secrets, whatever family secrets, whatever deception was done within the family, you're letting that go. I feel you're truly walking away from that. Um, why is justice in the foundation? For some of you, you've been the one keeping secrets from your family. Yeah, you're just, you're truly wanting just happiness. 
You're wanting emotional fulfillment. You're wanting to be able to follow your heart and not be judged for it. Um, you're wanting, you're in the foundation, you had a karmic lesson you had to learn um, or something you had to go through in order to get to the point where that worth waiting for. In order to get to um, follow your true heart's desire with that king of cups, you had to get those scales balanced. Um, the lesson has been learned and you're purging out the um, energetic clutter. You're releasing whatever this uh, difficult situation was in the past. Um, so you can then go um, move forward and find a relationship that is very balanced and, and emotionally fulfilling. So you could have been the one keeping secrets from your family, um, your true feelings from somebody you had built a life with. Um, for those of you who that resonates with, I do feel that you are walking away, becoming single and moving in the direction um, of where you have other feelings. Yeah, we got judgment here. So you are walking away. Look at that karma. Karma has been dealt with in the future. That karmic lesson has been learned and you're moving forward. You're walking away from a relationship. They all are still full. So you're walking away from a situation that wasn't horrible. This relationship wasn't terrible. You just fell out of love with this person. Um, you could have met somebody who really challenged you and put the death of your old ways of thinking, feeling, um, seeing the world. Um, that, that changed for you and you started looking at different paths in your life. Um, you weren't telling your family about this situation, but I do feel you are going to cut away from a marriage or, or a family situation. You're going to walk away from that relationship that you put a lot of emotional work into, but you're hearing the wake-up call from the universe that this has something missing. It's missing that love that you desire. This relationship could have gotten very comfortable, Taurus. Um, and now you're, you're setting out on your own soul's journey. Um, in the crowning, there is a new um, start to love. Could be with a fire sign female or a fire sign male or female Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, this also is a, an apology, so you could be apologizing to a fire sign for something done in the past. Um, but more so, I think this is the new beginning of a love. This is a a new love offer because you're facing your fears, you're moving forward, releasing that doubt, releasing the pain of the past, and no longer confused about who it is that you want or what you want out of life. So you are walking away from something or you recently have, and you're now gonna go explore your romantic feelings, Taurus female, or Taurus uh, singles. So I do feel by the full moon, October 13th, you're gonna decide to um, officially make this cut. You could be in like legal separation or separation from a spouse and you're deciding whether or not to officially cut the ties, I do feel that's going to happen for you, Taurus. I feel you're getting your confidence back. I feel that you are finding that value in yourself, that self-love, and you're going to go out and look for um, a relationship that's more uh, fulfilling for you and more uh, karmically balanced. All right, Taurus couples. You could be waiting on somebody, Taurus uh, singles also, uh, waiting for somebody to come towards you, come back to you um, from your past. I do feel they will be coming back to you and making you that apology, offering you a new uh, start in love. Um, make sure they're coming back at you right though. All right, Taurus couples, you have the Ten of Pentacles as well. In your recent past, so you're dealing with a family situation. There's your justice card. These readings could be linked. Um, watch the singles and the couples if you um, are in between or you're married but you're acting single like that. I just always say watch the singles and couples because there may be messages in both. Um, unless you're like 100% totally single and not waiting for anybody, not hung up on anybody, um, you should probably watch both. In your near future, you have the Page of Swords. In your foundation, you have the sun. In crowning, you have the two of wands. Another page uh, with two fours behind it. So 
worried about stability, worried about the stability of your children, worried about uh, what's going to happen to your family. Somebody could have told you that they want a divorce, Taurus, or you're telling somebody. And look at that, the death card. Most definitely you guys are probably linked to the single somehow. So this is the ending of a marriage or a relationship where you built a family. This really makes you sad, Taurus. This is a lot of tears, a lot of sadness. In the recent past, somebody asked you for a divorce or told you they wanted to leave the relationship. Um, and this is creating a, uh, a transformation in you. It's creating a change, um, but this is the promise of a new day. Um, you will, uh, this is the end of a cycle. So you're purging out this uh, relationship, this situation, um, but you will get to that point again. Um, why is justice here in the recent past for our Taurus? The Ace of Pentacles. So you could have asked this person um, to give you another chance. This person could have asked you for another chance because this could you could be asking somebody for a divorce, Taurus. It doesn't have to be them leaving you. Um, for some of you, you've gone through a transformation and realized that this isn't what you want anymore. So you're asking your person for a divorce. Um, because you see a different door of opportunity that you want to take. Um, why is the sun here in the foundation? You Things are being illuminated to you, Taurus, that's making this easier for you to let go. The universe is trying to show you a way, um, a way out of this mental, uh, this mental um, like place that you've put yourself the truth, the the Ace of Swords stands right in front of you. Um, all you have to do is take that blindfold off and you'll see what you need to see to have that awakening moment. Um, because right now you're just stuck. Um, nothing is moving forward, but there are things that are not being illuminated right now. There are secrets. There are things that are not being said. Um, however, I do feel that that is going to come out in your near future with the Page of Swords. Um, you're, you're um, revealing hidden information or your partner is um, because the truth is coming out in an immature way. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so let's get one more for that. Why is the Seven? Thank you. The Two of Pentacles. Okay, so you're finding out, Taurus, that... Um, this person wasn't wanting to work on this this whole time that they were juggling um, people or things, whatever it is, or this is you. You are telling somebody the truth that you don't want to continue to work on this, that you're ready for a change, that this isn't working out for you. It is breaking either you or your person's heart. It is bringing in a lot of sadness, but there is healing for you as well. Um, or for your person, whoever it is, is the one that um, is being walked away from. With the Eight of Wands, you are in the uh, crowning energy, making plans of the future. You're reaching out to somebody from a distance, more than likely a fire sign. Um, heavy Sagittarius here, but it could be Aries or Leo. Um, but this is somebody who's not necessarily in the picture right now, Taurus. Um, you see a future with this person and you are reaching out to somebody who is not, um, not in your life much as of right now, but you are going to reach out and make plans with this person of moving forward, opening up communication, um, finding the confidence and to reach out to them, uh, and asking them to work on this partnership, wanting to move forward and build a home and a new life with this person, Taurus. Things are changing for the better for you. Good things are coming in. By you telling your partner the truth that you're not wanting to be in this relationship anymore, it will get you out of this place of being stuck and it will bring in many, many blessings for you, um, especially stability um, and a relationship that will bring abundance and, and um, forever abundance. Making plans with this person is going to bring you to that place of emotional bliss, happiness. This is your person that you truly want. Uh, Taurus, you are telling the truth to the person that you're currently with, that you are wanting to move forward, um, and you are going to explore those romantic feelings 
that you have for that other person. All right. That's a good one for you, Taurus. Finally getting that emotional fulfillment that you are looking for. Um, being able to tell your partner the truth about wanting to move forward is going to free you and move you forward in your path. Um, and bring you to that happiness. All right, Virgo singles. Let's shuffle here for a second. Virgo singles. Virgo singles. Here we go. One card for your focus today in love. You have chemistry. There is a strong magnetic connect connection here. You could be um, finding it hard to resist somebody. Uh, Virgo singles. Let's get your current situation and see where we're at. Could have met somebody recently that's really captured your attention. What's Virgo singles? Uh, situation today in love. All right. The three of swords and the two of wands. Beautiful. So you are making plans. You are moving on. You are getting out of a place of being stuck, stuck in a crossroads of which direction is best for me. Um, picking the path finally after healing and mending a broken heart. Um, that is a beautiful sight to see the three of swords in reverse. All right. In the recent past, Virgo singles. In the recent past, you have the tower. So you had quite the emotional shakeup that really brought in some some pain, some some stress, some some heartache. In the near future, you have the nine of swords, um, finding yourself dreaming and daydreaming about somebody. Um, whoops, about shuffled there. In your uh, Foundation is the Five of Pentacles. In your crowning is the Lovers with the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Oh, so nice. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Why is the, what is the Two of Wands about? Wow, that flew out, the Lovers. Virgo Singles, you are most definitely picking a path and choosing the person that you truly love. There is a strong magnetic connection here. There's a reason. The lovers twice. This is a divine partner. Um, Virgos, for some of you, you could, I'm seeing that you could actually still be like married, but you're acting single. So you could be like in a separation. Um, so make sure you watch both singles and couples as well. But you're choosing a path and it's leading you to your divine love. Why is the three of swords here in reverse? Whoa. Justice and the world wanted to pop out there. So um, you could have been a part of a third party or had a third party. And it was, it did break your heart that uh, a relationship with your spouse ended in a divorce. But now you're healed and ready to move forward and find new love. Yeah, because you've been stuck. You're not any longer though. Now that your swords have fallen out of that broken heart... You are making the decision to move forward. Um, could be moving forward towards a Cancer or a Sagittarius with that Cancer card or that Chariot card. But either way, you're moving forward towards victory and towards what it is that you truly want. In the past, you have the Tower. You had a lot of um, heartbreak. Uh, somebody was juggling energy, whether it was you or somebody else. Somebody had too many um, irons in the fire, and unfortunately, one had to fall. And you didn't get the passionate beginning that you were hoping for. You could have been wanting to move um, towards somebody and they didn't want to commit to you or they had somebody else or you had a third party and didn't get to truly go with the person that you were wanting to for some reason. But it did bring that um, three of swords on. But that is in the past and you are healing and moving on from that now. Why is the five of pentacles here in the foundation? Okay, so... Uh, and again, another card of Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody either that came in and out of your life very quickly 
leaving you in the dark, ghosting you, cutting you out of their life, or you did this to a fire sign. Um, one of you was ghosted and one of you was abandoned. Um, and there's regrets of that happening, Virgo. This is somebody that you had to choose between um, in the past with that two of wands again. You are finding yourself dreaming a lot about this person, whether you're daydreaming um, but this is, you know, drifting off and thinking about them, losing track of time because you're thinking, because this is your soulmate. This is who you're meant to be with. You put this person in a delay, Virgo. Um, but the chemistry is drawing you back. The strong magnetic con connection is because you're meant to be together in your crowning. You have the lovers. You are choosing love. You're choosing the person, uh, that, that you had walked away from in the past, the person that you had ghosted and cause this heartbreak, whether they did this to you or you to them, you're putting this behind you and you guys are choosing each other. This is no longer a factor. It is a part of the past, but you are healing from it and moving forward, making plans with this person. Um, this is amazing. No longer stressing or worrying about it, putting that to rest because you're finally getting to choose your true heart's desire. You're finally getting to choose the person um, or be with the person if they choose you that you truly have unconditional love for Virgo singles. Nice reading, guys. That is that is amazing. All right. Virgo couples. This can be um for those of you who are exclusively dating, married, in between, in separation, all right, Virgo couples, what is your card of focus today? Virgo couples. Thank you. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Virgo couples, what do they need to know about love today? And what is this red flag about? Okay, Virgo couples, what's your current situation in love? Oh, I just got it really hard to breathe. Virgo couples in love. Okay, the three of cups. So there is probably a third party situation going on, but let's see what's the recent past. What's in the recent past for our Virgo couples? The three of swords. Oh my goodness. Yes, this in the near future. The five of pentacles. In your foundation, you have the Knight of Swords. Crowning, you have the Six of Swords. Wow, Virgo couples. Okay, so you're seeing what it is that you have to do. You're seeing what's going on in front of you. Yet I feel you're having a hard time walking away. However, in the crowning, you are walking away. Why is the Three of Swords here in the past? Okay, so there was heartbreak, betrayal, sadness. Um, you could have had a third party Virgo or your person had a third party. And the choice was not to choose love. The choice was to... Um, to stay with whoever you have children with. Um, and this caused the third party to move forward, to focus on their own energy, to expand and grow and uh, become very independent and, and successful. So you could be that person that moved on and was very successful, or you could be the person that was heartbroken because you couldn't be with the person that you truly wanted to be with. Yeah, you're feeling a lot of betrayal and sadness, um, feeling like somebody left you for dead. You had a lot of love for this person, and you feel like you were stabbed in the back. You felt like, how could you do this to me? Or 
or your other person is feeling this way, Virgo. Let's see who's feeling this way. Yeah, this tower, the, this happened, this tower moment happened between you and somebody you have children with. You chose to stay with the mother or father of your children, um, and it caused a lot of emotional upset between you and somebody who you wanted to be with, or somebody did this to you. I'm getting so many mixed messages. So Virgo, you most definitely could be dealing with another earth sign because that happens when it's of the same element. Uh, in your foundation, the truth needs to be spoken. You're slowly getting to that point where you're going to tell the truth of, of how you feel or somebody's coming in to tell you that truth. But in the near future, um, somebody's being walked away from. Somebody's being feeling like they're being abandoned. That's why the Ten of Swords is there. The The beautiful thing about this is the cycle is complete now. Um, you could be facing some financial issues or you fear that, but you're still unable to move away from a situation that is emotionally unhappy. Um, you're, you're in a connection where the love is not there. You love them, but you're not in love with them. And you're finding it hard to move away from that relationship because of financial issues. Uh, the third party has ended, however. You could try to apologize to somebody and they don't accept it, creating a lot of stress and anxiety in your life. Um, in your crowning, you do have the Six of Swords. So you're being called to walk away, to allow the heartache to, to um, heal. And you're having a lot of anxiety and stress about walking away from financial stability. But you're also having a lot of Stress and anxiety about walking away from somebody that you truly loved. Why is this red flags here? What is going on? Okay, so the red flags are for those of you who have a third party, have a spouse or commitment and a, a third party. Um, if you don't move forward and release this uh, energy of betrayal and this tower energy and the stress, anxiety, if you don't come forward and speak your truth and move forward and invest that pinnacle where you truly want to spend your future, I do feel both people are going to walk away. You're not going to have anybody to invest in because you took too long and there was too much betrayal here. If you're the one that was put in a third party, Virgo couples, then... Um, you're being called to walk away from this third party situation no matter how hard it is and no matter how bad it hurts because the red flags are telling you they're not leaving their spouse. They're not leaving that person they have children with even though they're in a loveless relationship or not in the relationship they want to be in. The flags are telling you that they're not going to invest in this connection. So it's best for you to release the stress, the worry, the anxiety and to walk away from the situation and allow your heart to heal, to invest in yourself um, and to take action and remove yourself from the situation. So it just depends on what what side of the fence you're, you're on there or what side of the situation I mean. But either side, the red, the red flags are telling you that you need to move forward and away from this third party situation so you can find love true love that won't deceive you okay all right capricorn singles the video uh stopped after i did capricorn uh couples and i started the capricorn part uh singles and i don't know where it, it quit so I'm just redoing the um, Capricorn and I will patch them together here in a minute. So Capricorn singles, you have give your relationship a chance. You are experiencing true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So let's see what situation our Capricorn singles are dealing with today. Thank you. The page of swords. 
in the recent past, you have the Queen of Swords. In your near future, you have the Six of Pentacles. Your bottom of the deck and crowning or, uh, foundation is the star. Crowning that is the Four of Wands with a love offer and emotional bliss and fulfillment coming in for you. Holy smokes, Capricorn. This is a good, good way to start your reading. So a lot of communication is going on between you and somebody else. This is somebody that in the past cut you out of their life or you cut them um, because there was some deception going on. There was some sneaky behavior. You could have found out about this um, behavior uh, and that is what created you to, to walk away, to move on um, because you weren't going to deal with that kind of energy. You did find the healing you needed with that um, star on the bottom and on your foundation. You are you are moving forward towards stability because after this situation happened, um, you did you did um, heal in the right way, or you currently are. In the recent past, you did go through um, a lot of sadness, some you know depression possibly after cutting this person out of your life after ending a third party situation that somebody put you in um, because you did find out, you did do some digging and find out about things of the past. Um, but this had to happen. This transformation came in because, because it um, created the ability for you to go in and heal uh, what, what needed healed so you could move forward. There is a wish fulfillment coming um, in the near future, there is going to be an offer, possibly an engagement for some of you, but you're you're not settling for that kind of um, that kind of actions anymore. You've you've really you've been through it with this person. You've been through a lot with this person and created a lot of wisdom, a lot of you know the Queen of Swords has been through a lot of shit, but they've learned a lot of lessons and are better for it moving forward. So you purged out and released what it is that was holding you back from, you know, being successful, um, in a relationship and your wishes are about to come true. Why is the six of pentacles here in the near future? Why is the six of pentacles? Thank you. The nine of pentacles. So in the near future, you're no longer going to spend time on somebody who's not willing to give it back. You're not going to feed this person full of your time, energy, and emotional, um, you know, attention while they're leaving you starved for attention. So um, in the near future, you're really learning to balance your own scales first, making sure you're balanced in a healthy way um, before giving out any energy to anyone else. You're really finding your... Uh, finding yourself. You're really investing in your future. Uh, really taking your lessons learned and putting it to the best um, possible way to benefit yourself. Really focusing on making you happy first and foremost. And when you do that, it does bring in a offer, a, a fulfillment, a wish fulfillment that will stand the test of time. This person's coming back in a different way. They're coming back with that pinnacle, offering it to you, wanting to um, invest in a future with you. Why is the four of wands here? All right, so they are coming in very quickly um, and and telling you the truth of the matter, something around um, wanting to move forward, wanting to move into a new home together, wanting to live together. Um, for some of you, this is an engagement. Uh, giving this night, giving their only pinnacle to this person to invest in the future, becoming a husband or a wife. So this could be a proposal for some of you, um, what you have been wishing for. But they're coming back very truthfully. Um, and they truly want to uh, create this new life with you, create stability, create a home that will continuously grow. Um, you're being encouraged to give this person a chance. They are not the person they were in in the past. They were not this same energy um, that put you through what you you guys went through in um, 
in the past. You do have the Fool with the Ten or the Knight of Cups. So this offer of a new beginning is legitimate. It is real. It is um, heartfelt and sincere. You have the Seven of Wands clarifying the Ten of Cups. So there is emotional fulfillment and bliss here. Um, the ability to create a very happy life together. So don't um, don't be fighting it too hard uh, because this is what this is what is meant for you um, because this is true love. This is really face those fears and those doubts, release that, and know that this person is here for the right reasons and is going to offer you um, that new beginning. So make sure you are taking a second glance at this relationship and don't brush him off too quickly. Um, because of decisions that were made in the past because this really has the potential um, of going somewhere and lasting uh, a long time because of the growth that has happened in your guys' time of separation it's really um, it's really made the two of you different people so very positive Capricorn singles let's go on to our Capricorn couples couples I feel there's something like really big coming in for you guys um, who resonate with this reading in your career big changes in your career um, for the positive big opportunities coming in I know it doesn't have anything to do with love but that's the message I was getting when I was concentrating on your energy so just a little side note when a door opens walk through it it may be the best uh, opportunity of your life one card for our Capricorn couples, please. Thank you. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, your affirmations, your visualizations help bring the two of you together. Know that when they enter your life, it is safe for you to love. All right, Capricorn couples. Okay, that was quick. Your current situation. You have the Five of Wands in reverse, eliminating that inner conflict, uh, no longer dealing with fuckboys or fuckgirls, whatever you want to call them. Um, you're really wanting the real deal. You don't want a bunch of people vying for your attention. You just want one to give you that true love. In the recent past, you had the Ten of Cups. In the near future, you have the Three of Cups. In your foundation and the bottom of the deck, it's the Eight of Pentacles. Crowning your reading is the Seven of Pentacles with the Fool and the Four of Wands right underneath it. No longer sabotaging your future. You are truly calling in um, a partnership here. Uh, I do feel for the majority of you, you are single now, but but you are you are calling in that couple relationship, or you are considering walking away from somebody. And just setting out on your fool's journey alone. Um, taking that first step of independence in a, in a new life. So why is the five of wands here? Oh, that's way too many. Why is the five? Thank you. All right. So um, in your current energy, you, feel, you have been putting yourself in this place of emotional and mental anguish over... Um, for some of you, competition in the past that could have taken away your Ten of Cups, um, a failed marriage, a failed relationship um, because of outside people, or um, you're letting your you were letting your inner conflict keep you um, stuck, so you weren't moving forward. Let's get one more for this Eight of Swords, please. Okay, yeah, this has to do with you. This is a completion of a major life cycle. So this, you are letting uh, your thoughts stand in the way of completing and letting go of a major life cycle. But your next step is the fool. So I do feel you are getting out of that mental conflict that you, um, that created this uh, self-imprisonment. And you are releasing something. You are letting go of a major life cycle um, because you did come to the ending of that cycle 
with a person of the past. It wasn't meant to go any further than what it did. Yeah, this is this is a broken marriage, a broken home. Um, a third party could have created that, and that's what you kept constantly thinking about was how you lost this person. Um, in your foundation, you've been really focusing on work, on your career, not wanting to focus on love at all. Um, yeah, not offering your cup, not accepting anyone's cup, not wanting to hear anybody's apologies. You were just working on yourself, working on your finances, working on manifesting um, material things into this world um, and not focusing on love much at all. Why is the three cups here in the near future? Thank you. I'm going to take this one. Okay, so you are releasing the betrayal um, feeling of that third party situation. Secrets came out and you real you uh, secrets came out and revealed the deception and the lies that were told and that you um, were made to believe. You are releasing that. This is the end of a cycle. Thank goodness it's done and over. You are spending a lot of time with friends, um, family. I see you in the near future going out a lot. Um, Capricorn. This is truly leaving this broken relationship and broken marriage behind. Um, celebrating with friends, having fun, enjoying yourself. You're truly released this. And it's not even um, affecting you anymore. I just see friends being very important um, to you. They could invite you to go to a party. And that's where you're meeting your soulmate. Once again, your stress is, you're no longer freaking out. You're no longer stressing out about it. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? So in your crowning energy, you are you are slowly working on yourself. Be patient with yourself. Love is going to come in for you. You have to plant those seeds of intention and watch them grow. And it, it will bring you in that soulmate that you're calling in. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? Yeah. So be patient. Uh, you are manifesting in a very strong spiritual connection and commitment from a soulmate energy this is going to take time you have to cultivate and work that garden you have to weed it you have to water it you have to tend to it and there's a long time in between the day you put that seed in the ground and the day you first see it sprout so you're in that in between time right now where it's it hasn't quite um, popped out of the surface yet so go out enjoy yourself have fun with your friends um, very well possibly could be meeting this person through a mutual friend or through, you know, something you're doing with your friends. I keep hearing. So um, be patient. Keep working on yourself and know that you have a strong, stable, loving commitment coming in for you that is meant for you. And it will be here just in the perfect time. So set out on your own fool's journey. Take that first step um, being single. Know that you have a new life and a promise of a new life in your hand. And know that stability is coming in for you. And this time, that person you build a home with is not going to deceive you. This person will not do to you what this person did. So release that fear. Release that cycle. And know that you are truly calling in a soulmate Capricorn couple. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed your daily read. Like I said, I'm going to start doing them live. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I am on. Um, make sure you hit that bell too, because, um, I've been going on live, uh, lately and I'm getting messages saying that people didn't even know I was live or just catching me at the tail end of it. So make sure you have that bell, um, with all marked so you get those notifications. So, all right guys, much love to you. I am so glad and thankful that you joined me today. Much love. God bless. I got no rules, I count